hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a plan with me and it's going to be for the 5th of december through the 11th i'm super super excited i am able to finally sit down and just do a talk through plan with me again it's been so long i feel like at least a month or a month and a half since i've done an actual just talk through plan with me i'm so excited I'm mainly excited probably because I just like literally just finished my last final of the semester and I'm going to be off of school for the next month and a half and I just cannot wait. I am so ready for school to be done. I have one more semester left of school at least for now and then I graduate. I know I will be going back to school again but I don't know how soon after that will be so I, I know I'll still be busy, but either way, I'm just super, super excited that I'm able to just focus on doing Plan With Me videos and just videos in general for my channel and just bringing you guys content. I have missed talking to you guys and just actually having a conversation with you all in my comments and stuff like that. I just have been slacking a little bit on the videos and it, rightfully so, it's because, of, because I have been so busy with school, but... I am, as I have said a million times already, I am super, super excited to just finally be able to just focus on doing all the leisurely things that I like to do and have a break, basically. So for this week, I am going to be using a kit that a lot of people have used already, and I am so sad that I didn't use it, but I am excited that I'm using it now, and it is the Little Miss Papery Paper Mint Kit paper mint kit should I say and if you have noticed on Instagram and a lot of other people have used this kit for this week for this current week I used the caress press eggnog kit this kit is so so pretty I'm filming on Friday and I'm it's, I literally just finished my last final of the day and the first thing I wanted to do was just sit down and do a plan with me video and do a talk through so I have just just finished so i'm so so excited like i i just i don't even know i don't even know how to explain it but anyway this kit is what i used last week and i did just do a speed through video i wanted to show you guys me laying down all the stickers and everything like that but i didn't have time to actually talk through with you guys so this is what it looks like as of right now i filled in a couple of things that i had going on in the week and i will fill in more as these two days progress but either way it's still so cute i love this kit it's so so pretty and i cannot believe i didn't pick up a second kit of a second one of the this kit because this kit is so so pretty and i just love it i love the colors i love how wintry it is and how it makes me feel like the holiday season has finally finally approached even though where i live it is still um like in the 70s or like mid 60s through the day like it's high 70s not high 70s mid 70s where I live but either way it's started cooling down though I must say so I'm excited but I will show you guys the kit that I got from Little Miss Papery I did pre-order this so I got this extra sheet here that's the mini bucket list kit or sheet and it is so cute I love it drink a peppermint mocha Burn a winter candle, buy some holiday donuts, stay in PJs all day long, eat ice cream in the cold. I just can't wait to start putting some of these down. I forgot that I actually had this. I need to put this with my other holiday or seasonal type stickers and incorporate this into other spreads as well. That was a little extra I got for doing the pre-order. And this is the kit itself. So you have your traditional headers that come in her kits and this one is so pretty i love the colors i cannot wait to use this kit i'm so excited here are the date covers and again so pretty Brittany can do no wrong in her kits i love her kits so much and i am so excited to use this here are your full boxes again so pretty i love them some people are worth melting for peppermint fuzzy socks in hot cocoa i love you a latte which is so cute so that is the full boxes. You have your ombre heart checklist boxes. You got a couple of quarter boxes at the bottom. Your little things. You got your washi sheet with some 
random washi here, half boxes, quarter boxes, and some deco on here. And then you have your two page functional page, which is standard in her kits. And this full box down here says hello winter. I won't be using that full box because it is not quite winter yet, but either way, I am excited to use this. So um, I don't know. She didn't put glitter. She didn't make glitter headers for this kit itself. So I don't know if I have glitter headers that will match this good enough. Well, I don't have enough glitter headers to match this kit itself. So I'm not going to use glitter headers even though I want to, but I'm not going to. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't even know where to start you guys. I'm so, so, um, yeah. Anyway, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna start with the bottom washi. So I did get this in the matte paper, which I love her matte paper. It still comes out super, like the ink saturation and the quality of her matte paper is still really, really good. Like I love it. And I just like the, the option of it being removable matte because it just makes moving things so much easier especially if you move things throughout the week get out of my way um so it just makes it easier to move things around which is kind of good for me this month we have a lot of things going on this month i haven't been able to talk to you guys but we do have a lot of things going on so we have a lot of events and um work events for my husband's job to go to throughout this month and then we had we have a lot of um personal things going on that i rather not discuss at this moment until they are um set in stone because it's not exactly set in stone so i don't want to go into details about that just yet unless it actually happens i guess but we've been busy with that and if everything goes as planned, we will be even more busy with it once it's done. So uh, don't worry, I will share once I, whenever it comes, but I don't want to jinx it and not and say that it's happening and it not happen. So I'm gonna um, flip this. Brittany included, oh, something was gonna fall on my desk and it scared me. But Brittany included these little strips here that are just this long and they're like super, super, Skinny. like I don't know if you can really tell they're so skinny and she included four of them let me open this back up so you can see what I am talking about and they fit perfectly in between the vertical boxes so you can split up each day and then have the weekend as a bulk so I think I'm gonna try to put that in there I've seen a lot of people layer them along the bottom and just cut them how cut them to fit on this side and whatnot but I think I'm going to try to put them on here because she does sell these strips individually in her shop. So if you look on her shop right now, she has three kits. She has a frozen kit, a um, the mojito kit, and the 2017 kit, which is like her New Year's kit. And they she has these strips of glitter washi, and they're just long strips available in our shop and if you look at the description it says that you can use them to go along the top along the bottom in between your days on the vertical planner or on your hourly whichever you prefer she leaves it up to you but that's what she intended them for is to use them in that fashion or in any fashion that you please so i'm gonna try it because i haven't tried it before i've seen people with the skinnier washi that you can buy like at Michaels and stuff. I've seen them do this in between their days. And one of the people, I think it's Jen from Jen Planet, Planner Addict, or I can't remember her, her uh, social media name exactly, but I believe she does this a lot like on her spreads. With skinny washi, she doesn't buy like the strips from Etsy. She just uses skinny washi. And it looks really cool. And I thought I would try this. And it looks cool. I kind of like it already, you guys. I'm so excited. I also feel like I haven't been able to talk to a lot of people. <laughs> I've been so busy. Like the only person I ever socialize with is my husband. Or like my mom or my dad or my sister. I just text them every once in a while. But it's not like... I don't conversate a lot with a lot of people. I've just been so busy. 
and school has been kicking my butt mainly because I just want to be able to do very very well Ooh, this is cute you guys I'm liking this and that is a very very important thing to me is to do well in my classes especially since I have to pay for my classes out of pocket I don't get any assistance for um, no aid or anything like that to pay for my classes so it's just even more important to me to do well so I don't waste my money because school is not cheap I know that for sure so yeah I am liking this so what I did I, sh I just alternated them between the colors started with a uh, pink or teal I hope I didn't just mess up because now I'm thinking about it I don't even I just put the other strips down and I can't even remember what the colors I put down were yeah okay so I started with pink and then I alternated oh my gosh that's so cute I wish there were five though because I kind of would like to put a strip there but it's okay I'm not even gonna complain I am gonna go with it so let's go ahead and do the full boxes and I don't know what I'm gonna set down up here I think I'm gonna do I love you a latte up there because it's just so cute I like it it's so cute anyway um, I'm gonna flip this so I can see better and I don't know if I care what particular order these go in as far as like color scheme maybe I don't know I say I don't but then I know when I sit down and do this I'm going to figure out which ones I want to put down okay so I got all those down next I want to do our I'm gonna do headers so I'm gonna do the headers along here and then down here so uh, what did I do with the headers so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a, a no white space I'm gonna try I don't know how well it's gonna work but I'm gonna try So I'm going to go ahead and start putting down my ombre heart checklist boxes and I think I'm going to do, I might just go down the line. Yeah, I'm just going to go down the line. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So I got all of my ombre hat checklist down. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the, yeah, I'll just go ahead and put the little list headers. And now if you watch my planner videos, you guys know this is not typical for me. I don't usually do white, no white space spreads. I am very, very white space planner and I like doing white space. It just looks less crowded to, to me and less, um, I don't know, busy, but I just wanted to use like as many stickers of this kit as I could. And I do still, I am still filming my hourly plan as I go spreads. So you guys will still see more of those and I'll be able to sit down and actually do a voiceover for them instead of just posting them and you guys guessing what I'm using, but I'll actually be able to, to record my voiceover. So the next one you guys see for the spread I'm currently working on will have a voiceover and will be that should be up next week either Tuesday or Wednesday it just depends on when I can get the voiceover done probably Tuesday because Tuesday I have to take my dog to Camp Bow Wow for like an interview which I'll explain a little bit more as whenever I've put it here on Tuesday well I can talk about it now well, no, no, I'm not because I'm going to get totally confused. So I got all this done. Let's go ahead and start with the little things down here at the bottom. 
and I'm gonna start with all the meal icons and I think what I'm gonna do again is just go across and not worry about color blocking because it really it's not really color blocking um, because the headers don't really color block but either way so while I'm putting down these I'll tell you guys about Camp Bow Wow there's a place here where I live called Camp Bow Wow and it's like a daycare or like a boarding facility for your dog and it's different than like your regular boarding facility because they don't stay in the kennels all day they actually get to run around for the majority of the day pretty much either as long as you want it to be so like if your dog is one that doesn't need to be running around for eight hours of the day then they won't let him run around or let the dog run around for eight hours but if your dog is one that needs eight hours of running around five hours four hours whatever the case may be they do provide that so they have indoor um, playing areas outdoor playing areas and they separate them between bigger dogs and like the teacup sized dogs so you don't have a mixture of big dogs with little dogs they're separated which is pretty cool too so I have a big dog well I don't know if you would consider him big he's like big he's like large medium large because he's 80 pounds he's 84 pounds actually he just got weighed earlier this week no last week Friday he got weighed last Friday so a week ago he got weighed he was 84.6 pounds almost 85 pounds which he's huge he is such a big dog he's not like huge huge but he's big and he's a boxer so he's a little big for boxers which is okay he's still such a cutie and I love him but anyway I'm digressing I'm going in a tangent here so I need to write down my TV shows and I haven't been watching a lot of TV because I've been in school this whole time. So I don't even know what's still going on or what's like over. And so I need to like look at my app. I have this app called, what is this called? Here, I'll show you. So I have this app called Next Episode and I go here and I just have a list of all the TV shows that I like to watch or keep track of. There's not many and they're actually, I don't have all of them on here, but I put them on here and it tells you if it's currently running or if it is a returning series and it'll usually tell you when it will come back, but if it doesn't have it, then it won't tell you until it comes back so I have all of those and then it also tells you which I don't know if I have one where it will but yeah it usually tells you if the show is canceled and stuff which is this app is pretty cool to keep track of all of those things so the first show on my list is Empire which where's my pen and that comes on Wednesday so that's all my TV shows let's go ahead and zoom in just a tad so you can see better Tuesday is my dog's can't bow out interview and she does have a little dog paw down here so I'm going to use the little thing for it and I'll just put Mo's interview it's at 9 a.m super early but so what I do is I'm just gonna have to take him there and then I stay for like 10-15 minutes just to give like a little background or history on my dog so they understand and then they take him and he does like his interview process they say that they do like a what do you call it what do they do I'm like drawing a blank right now they um they 
take a dog that is similar in stature and behavior and put them together with the trainers or with the certified people and just see how his demeanor is with other dogs and stuff like that and then I think they if that goes well then they take him to the regular room with the other dogs and the, how they play and stuff and determine whether he's good to be around a bunch of dogs so that's what they pretty much do is determine whether he's good enough good like his behavior and um demeanor is good with other dogs and determine whether he's cap he's good enough to um handle it while we're gone so but yeah so that's what they do and they require that he does that interview um prior to a time that you need him to stay there or your dog to stay there so yeah i had to schedule it that's what he's doing on tuesday and then whenever we go down see we have to go to my husband's like work thing on um the 16th of this month and it's out of town so we have to put him in boarding and i don't we both really don't like putting him in a uh, regular boarding like at your vet's office or like pet smart or something because they don't really you know take him out a lot and he needs to go out at least every two hours because he's eight years old he's almost nine he'll be nine next year and he had bladder stones twice so he had surgery for those twice and since the last surgery that he had he had um he can't hold his bladder very well so like he leaks whenever his bladder gets really full and if you don't take him out every two hours he'll leak so i've been in the habit of taking him out every two hours to avoid him leaking everywhere um so he when he stays at vets or anything well he hasn't stayed in a boarding since we had his last surgery but whenever he he stays in boarding they don't take them out every two hours they take them out on a schedule that the employees are on so it doesn't work well for him and I don't want him to get sick because he kind of gets anxiety when he's like locked up and stuff and I don't like I just don't want him to get sick so pretty much we're left with taking him to this place which so far I think will be okay I'm not too concerned to be honest I think he'll be all right I'm just trying to fill in this spot we should lift this header see I'm not good at this uh no white space thing really I'm not So yeah, so that's why we're doing the boarding thing or the Camp Bow Wow thing because they, they're literally outside with everybody all day and then he'll get to like run around and stuff. He won't be locked up in his kennels and stuck inside, which I hate to even think of him being stuck inside because that drives me insane. And yeah, so... That's what he's doing Tuesday. He's got an interview. I feel like he has a job or something, which would be nice if he can make me some money because, you know, your girl has been paying for him to do nothing all day. I might just use one of these quarter boxes and use a pink one and just take take one of my cleaning emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I'll just take this little dishwashing guy and stick him right there i need to get my little shoes so i'm going to use these little shoes from panda bird design and i love these they're like little rose gold tennis shoes like rose gold glitter tennis shoes so cute so i'm going to use those and i'm going to use these to cover up this hanger 
on the days that I do CrossFit and I didn't mean to put that on Monday that was actually supposed to go on Tuesday we go Tuesday Wednesday Friday whoops whoopsies oh well it's gonna have to stay now which is okay all right moving on so that's what I have there Tuesday I want to post my what am I thinking? What is that video? Oh yeah, my plan as I go video. For that, I'm gonna use one of my little munchkins from What's More With Love, and I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna put, no, I should have it edited by then. I just put my upload munchkin. Plan as I go video. Okay, and then moving on to Wednesday. I'm so not used to planning with white space, so, or no white space, so this is a little different. This is actually a lot different, because I, I don't know when's the last time I planned with no white space. It's been a hot minute. And I don't even know what I'm going to use. I usually use this planner for my, um, school stuff so like I write down like in detail what I have to do for each class each day so so here to like if you just see it write down everything that I have to do for each class that day so I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this planner for just yet but we'll figure it out okay so Wednesday is cleaning day again poopsicles and I'm going to use a quarter box just to cover up that gap there. And again, I'm going to use one of my emojis, And I think I'll just use one of the little vacuum guys because he's so cute. And also, I forgot to put on Monday, I do have to water my plants. So I'm going to put the little um, water plants sticker from Sweet Quiet Designs. I think I'm just going to stick it right at the top of my to-do list. And I only have one plant now to water. <laughs> the other one died, you guys. It was so small and it just died. I don't know what happened. I am no green thumb. Just so you guys know, I am not a green thumb. I don't have one. I am not a planter. My husband is like way better at taking plant care of plants. The bamboo is probably like my my go-to for taking care of plants because it is so damn easy. So what I'm gonna do is take the the blank full box that came with the kit, I'm gonna put it on Saturday because Saturday is usually our date night and I'm gonna use the full box and I'm gonna put a quarter, or not a quarter box, a half box in the middle of it because usually Saturday is our date night and we do whatever. I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll put it, I'm gonna put it up a little above halfway. So for, oh, she has a date night sticker in here, doesn't she? She does, so cute. I should've used the pink box. Well. So date night, I was going to use my Baba Bear Studio date night stickers, like this one, Sexiest Man Alive stickers, or these are my favorite, like I love Baba Bear Studio stickers. She is the bomb.com, or these ones, booth, date with my boo thing, these are so cute, these are so cute, but she has a date night, Brittany has a date night sticker in her kit, so I like to try to use the stickers in the kit because it all matches so well okay so that's that and then we also do wash our cars so I think I'm gonna take this quarter box here which my car needs a hard wash like my car is a mess y'all a mess and yes she does have a little car icon so that'll be to wash the cars okay so Thursday, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Um, I think I'll take some washi to kind of like fill up this spot a tid and use a half box in the middle if it'll fit it should and I'm gonna use it to mark that I'm gonna film my plan with me to go up on Sunday so she has a couple of little planners in here and these are so cute I'm gonna use the uh, teal one and one of the film munchkins on this sheet from Once More With Love. And stick that right here. So that'll tell me to film my plan with me. And then I like to try to edit it a tad that evening. I'm going to use this pink quarter box. And I'm going to take one of the little computer icons that she has in the kit and I'll do the teal one. And I'm going to stick that over here and I'll just notate that I want to edit the plan with me a little bit so that it's ready to go on Sunday. Friday is cleaning day but I'm going to need to put down some wash and use a quarter box. But I want to use that circle, the ch daily chores circle that she has. It's just so busy. I don't know if I like that it's so busy, but I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> I'm going to roll with it, okay? We'll do it. All right. Trash day is on Tuesday too, or Thursday, so I need to do this little trash icon. I'll stick it over here. So trash day, so I can remember that. And I forgot to put my weekend banner down. So I think I'm gonna stick it, shucks, monkeys, down here. It covers a little bit of the icon, but that's okay. So I already did Saturday. Sunday is probably gonna be a lazy day. And I'm gonna put a quarter box on top of that. I'm going to use this Lazy Day sticker that she has in the kit and I'm just going to layer it right on top of the quarter box. That's cute. It's just so much going on on this spread because it's so busy with the patterns, which that's usually how I feel with no white space. That's the reason why I don't personally do no white space, but I think it's so cute and this kit is so freaking adorable and I can't help it. So I'm going to do it. All right, sidebar before I forget because I was literally just about to put all my stickers away and forget about it. So I'm gonna put this piece of washi here. <laughs> and she has a few random headers here. And she has some of these sidebar headers here. So I think I'm gonna put this week as a header to the weekly habit tracker that's in the kit because I like to track um, my days that we go running or do any type of uh, workout and then I'm gonna take this piece of washi here because it's so cute and I'm gonna put a happy meal header even though I don't have that much happy mail coming to track but I have a few that are on my list I just don't they're not probably not gonna ship out this week so I am more likely not going to have anything checked off but it'll still be nice to put it there because I haven't been putting happy mail there in my sidebar in a while and then what I think I'm gonna do is take I'm gonna take this little candy cane washi and stick it at the bottom of the page you can't even see what I'm doing but I'm gonna take this half box right here actually you know what since I don't have that much happy mail what I think I'm gonna do is bring this up a little bit so that not all that washi is covered and I'm gonna kind of use the bottom of the check box 
as like a piece of washi and then I'm going to put a header again and I'm going to use a this week header right here and that will be to track my social media since I actually I haven't really been paying attention to that either because I've been so busy but it'll be nice to put that there and I'll use one of these cute little computers and just throw that in a corner like so because it's so cute and I don't know do I have any bills to you? I don't think I have any bills to you. I don't think so okay so that is it for this sidebar I think I'm gonna now I need to stick down these all right there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and put down all the date covers really quick and I'll be right back okay okay so this is the finished spread with everything filled out I am totally liking how this turned out it is so 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 full of stickers and it's just so fun like I just love how festive it is and I'm so excited to finally use this kit because it is so cute and I'm kind of loving this like strip of glitter in the middle so adorable so this is what I have left over in the kit. I have half of the date covers left over, some various washies, a little bit of the functional pages left, and of course I'll incorporate these as the week goes on. So if we watch a movie, I'll add it in there. I have a couple of decos and the little things left over. And yeah, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.